So today we are going to install XCSS frame generation on Ghost of Tsushima. I think that's how you say it. First you want to open the game once. If you have this launcher enabled, you don't have to go inside the game. If you have disabled this launcher, just go into the game and do the same. Go to options and set the window mode to full screen. Now you can install the OptiScaler. So download this file using the link in the video description and extract it. Then open your game file location. Many people have complained that after installing the mod and then uninstalling it, the game no longer works. The mod has broken the game files and such. So to fix that, what you want to do is make a backup of your files. Not the whole game, just the smaller files. Then if something goes wrong, you can delete everything that we are about to copy and paste the backup here again. So open the extracted folder and copy everything to the game file location and replace the files. After that, run the Windows Setup file. In here, press 1 and enter. Then choose a number according to your GPU. Put that number here and enter. Open the OptiScaler.ini file and set the FG input value to DLSSG. Set the output value to XEFG. Then save the file and exit. Now you can open the game. If you have the launcher enabled, you can change the settings from here. In the launcher, you can see now I have DLSS frame generation and DLSS upscale method enabled. You can use XCSS as the input too, but use DLSS for better compatibility. And these are my settings. And then when you are in game, press the insert key on your keyboard. So for once, you will get this message. Restart the game to apply the correct XCFG settings. You must restart the game no matter what. So just close this and restart the game and come back. After restarting the game, press the insert key again. And now you can see we don't have that warning message. Use only this FPS overlay, don't use any other overlays like MSI Afterburner. So if you have an RTX card, use DLSS. If you have an older card like mine, you can use XCSS. Choosing XCSS alone gave me like 15 FPS more. To activate XCSS frame generation, tick this active option. You can see I got close to 100 FPS. If it feels blurry, use OptiScaler sharpening options and save the changes using the save INI button so you don't have to do this every time you open the game. The game feels so smooth. And if you're wondering if this is better than the FSR frame generation, FPS wise, no. But quality wise, yes, because I get like 100 plus FPS around here with FSR frame generation. With this, I'm getting around 90. That's not bad, 90 is more than enough. So I will play the game for a bit because many have complained that their game crashed after some time. So enjoy the gameplay and thank you for watching. Until next video, adios amigos.
Come here and fight! Zulgar Daksa Bagimu! Tinege! Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. 